Hi, Stephen. Really good session of the day. Hope you found it helpful. Just a couple of things to work on now for the next few weeks. As we said, we can do this now without even in golf balls. The key issue we're talking about now is the movement of your hips. If we look here on the left-hand side as the club goes back, your left hip now on that green line. And if we sort of zoom in here now, you'll see as you start swinging the club down, about here now, that left hip just starts moving away from that green line. Not much shift of weight. You can see your head staying down very, very long. And basically your arms just now sort of folding across your body, forced to sort of fold up there, as we can see, because there's no real movement or shift of your body in this direction towards the target. So what we're looking for is once we get to the top of that backswing, is to get that left hip now to literally move in a lateral fashion towards target, and then it will rotate around that left foot. We can see here now we start moving down a bit better. There's a distinct movement into that green line. It stops a little bit, but then at least we continue on through. And we can see now after the shot, we're certainly a little bit more rotated up onto that left side. This right foot has started to move, and the knees and everything else have started to move in this direction round the target. So a lot more body movement. And like we say, we can just practice that movement with the hips sort of side to side, getting used to how they should work in the golf swing. As we said, from the top of the backswing, the first move now is from the hips, the knees and the ground up, moving to that left side, not just your arm sort of swiping down, trying to the golf ball. Okay, there's still a little bit more top half movement here than bottom half movement than we'd like, but certainly a lot more than there was on the left-hand side. So work on those couple of things, and we'll see you in the new year. Cheers, Stephen.